All right, now we're joined by Keegan Brooksby at pick number 42 to the Gold Coast Suns. Keegan, talk us through your last, yeah, actually go through your last 48 hours because you did a bit of training. Yeah, I was uh, over training with the, the Bombers for a couple of days, Monday and Tuesday, and then came back uh, Tuesday afternoon. Um, got a good night's sleep in, and then woke up Wednesday morning, went to the podiatrist and uh, tried to get a live feed on my phone and sort of came through when I was all there, it was pretty hectic. Um, yeah, just wasn't really sure what was going on. So who actually, so you actually saw it on the phone, then you got a couple of phone calls, no doubt, from uh, friends and family, but um, has anyone from the Suns contacted you, coaches or players, or what was the go? Oh, yeah, I spoke to a couple of the, the coaches and the support staff up there. They've all been pretty good. Um, I wasn't really sure what was going on. I think on the, the blog they had a different name, so it threw me a bit as well. A bit of confusion. Uh, wasn't, yeah, wasn't really sure what was going on, but uh, when I heard, I was, I was pretty happy. It was all said, pretty hectic. No doubt. I mean, you've had such a good year. Uh, I mean, you've probably come, you've been with the club now for, what, six, seven years, so you've been you know, with us from the very start. So what's turned it this year to get to, to this point and picked up? What's been the difference? You sound a bit like a recruiter <laughs> <laughs> asking a question like that, but I think it's just a combination of things, um, a bit of gradual improvement. I think every year I've been here, I've, I've improved, so just continued on with that, having a, a new coach, a new mindset sort of, and a bit of a freshen up was probably pretty crucial as well. When uh, when do you take off? When do you get started? And is it straight to training? And who you who you're living with? Uh, I'm not entirely sure. I think they're gonna put me up with one of the. The players up there has got a spare room to start with. Uh, get over there next next Tuesday um, for a couple of weeks, and then back for Christmas, and then New Year fully into it. I think. And I guess it's been good. You've you've still been training, so you'll get there and you'll be pretty fit and ready to go. You would think so? Hopefully. And I mean, you're probably one of the older boys with that uh, with all those young boys there. So yeah. a few grey hairs floating around. <laughs> now, we'll, uh, from everyone at South, we uh, we wish you all the best, and it's going to be tough to replace. I mean, you're probably you know Nucky Cup winner this year, one of our best players. So we uh, we wish you all the best, and I know if you get your chance, you'll uh, you give it a good shake. So is there anyone you want to thank? I guess from South, you've yeah, I suppose uh, I said, got you said before that I've been here for probably six years now and played seventy odd games, and clubs obviously meant a fair bit to me over the over the time with my family connection, dad and uncle playing as well. Um, hasn't been easy the whole time we've been here, but I think. The last few years, this year especially, we've, we've taken in the right direction, we've taken the right steps, we've got the right things in place to make sure that we, we don't recede and we keep on climbing the ladder and getting getting the results that we want and we deserve. Um, I suppose I'd just like to thank all of the supporters, everyone that's worked at the club as well. I know you've been through a pretty tough time as well and I know that the, the future's bright here. I'll continue to, to watch from a distance and look forward to seeing you up at the top of the ladder. Thank Good you. man. Oh, no. Don't go. Don't go.